Hello, welcome to Vital Truth. I'm going to be reading scriptures today in 2 Peter uh, chapter 1. We'll start at verse 3 and I'm going to read down for a few verses. This is rich. Unsearchable riches, folks. In verse 3, according as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside all this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. If these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Well, bless God. Right here is instruction. Praise God. Given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises. You know, God don't go back on His promises, folks. He don't give you something and take it back. The only way you can be separated from God is if you separate yourself from God. He said no one can be able to pluck us out of His hand. But we can pluck ourselves out if we choose. It's our choice. God will, not never, God will never go against our will. That's why that people are different than things. He said, whosoever will, let them come and take of the water of life freely. So we have a will. And it's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He wants our joy to be full. He wants us to live victorious. We, to be more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Not just conquerors, but more than conquerors. No power of the enemy can have a hold on us if we got ourselves established in Jesus Christ. No forces of darkness can ever penetrate that, that blessed armor of God that He's given us. He, we are equipped with all manner of tools to be a service to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are lacking nothing. Not only did He die to purge us from our sins, but He's given us these precious gifts and promises. He's given us nine fruits of the Spirit. Nine gifts of the Spirit. He's given us the blessed Holy Ghost to guide us into all truth. Oh yeah, the devil says, you're not fit. Absolutely not. None of us is fit to enter in. But by the grace and mercy of God, He has adopted us. We're made heirs and joint heirs with the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you imagine that? We're, we may not have a lot on this earth, folks. We may be poor. We may have to struggle to get by and work hard. But let me tell you something. There's laid up for us a crown of righteousness. There's laid up some promises for us. Where rust and moth won't corrupt. Where thieves can't break in and steal. Uh, people can rip you off down here. They can break in your house maybe and steal everything you got. But oh, we've got a Father that's looking over our inheritance. Yes, sir. It can never be took away from us. It's a promise made by God Himself. Oh, the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ said, hey, he said, hey, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there you may be also. That's one promise that I don't want to miss out on, folks, do you? So the devil is howling. He's carrying on a barking like a dumb dog, trying to deceive people, and is doing a job at it. But let me tell you something, folks. If we'll settle down and focus on Jesus Christ and 
and say, hey, I can't do this myself. I've tried so many times to live a Christian life, but I get shot down. I get shot out of the saddle. Oh, but listen, the day that you open your heart up to Jesus Christ and you purpose in your heart, I will arise and go to Jesus. He will embrace me in His arms. Yes, sir. That's when that God's going to open up the portals of heaven and say, hey, come in, my beloved son. Come in, my daughter, and enter into my rest. And someday it's going to pay off, folks. They may be weeping tonight, but joy is going to come in the morning. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. And there's one thing about living on this earth, folks. We can have joy while we're living here. Joy has nothing to do uh, with the world. The world don't give us. Jesus said, My peace I give unto you, my peace I leave with you. And not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We don't have to fear the devil. Because Ezekiel 28 says he was created. He was perfect in his ways from the day he was created till iniquity was found in him. Do we want to serve the creation or do we want to serve the creator? I choose today to serve the creator. Everything was created by the word. And for Him, without Him was not anything made that was made. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Serve God with everything in you, folks. If you don't know Him today, today's the day of salvation. Don't put it off till tomorrow. Go in your prayer closet, wherever you're at right now. Fall on your face before the, uh, God and confess your sin and say, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart right now. I want to be a part of this blessing you're talking about. I want this inheritance for me. I don't want it for someone else. I want it for me. I've heard about it, but I don't know about it. But show me the right way, Lord Jesus. Teach me your ways, Lord. Guide me in the way of righteousness, Lord. Create in me a clean heart. Oh, yes, sir. And you know what God said He'd do? He said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh yes, He don't waste no time, folks. He'll save you so quick that hell won't even get the message. Let me tell you something right now. God is a quick God. He rides on the wings of the wind on a cherubim. Yes, sir, that's how quickly He flies. My wife wrote a song about that and I'm, I'm going to sing it on YouTube one of these days. What a blessing she has been to me with writing songs. Hey, let me tell you something today. We need to rejoice today in the Lord and be glad this is a day the Lord's made. And if you know Jesus, you're a blessed person. Oh yes, sir, because all these promises are for you and I. We don't have to worry about where they are if we're going to get them or not because God made us a promise and He's all truth and life. Yes, sir. We don't have to listen to man. We don't have to lean to other people's understanding. We can know Him. We can know Jesus Christ ourselves. How do we know Him? By communicating with Him. Fellowshipping with Him. Following His voice. And not following ever, everyone that comes around trying to deceive us. We can know the truth and then the truth will set us free. Well, may Jesus bless you.